What is up, YouTube Cav PJ? Back at it with another video, man. Do you like my singing? Hey, it's pretty good. Anyway, <clears throat> we are watching UDY. Now, there's a recent theme on my videos. It's got to do with cheating. Because cheating is a no no. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it. That's why. I we're trying to delve into it, see all these different things. We had the rewarders situation. Now we've got UDY. UDY has a lot, a lot of good stuff, man. We've got to get into it. Um, pretty much, will disabled millionaire steal his girlfriend? Yeah. But this, I just know this one is going to be, oh, this one's going to be crazy. So, um, strap yourselves in. Strap yourselves in. Make sure your brain is activated because we're going to do, you know, it's education as well. Subscribe if you're new, man. We're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. How crazy is that? 1,000 subscribers. So subscribe, man. Let's get into this. There he is right here. Here we go. What's up, bro? Ready for this? Yes, sir. Camera's already rolling and everything. Oh, no. This is the homie Kai. He wants to find out if his girlfriend is truly loyal to him or not. So today we're placing her to the test. Hopefully she passes. I, you know, you never know though. In this yeah. industry though, you know, anybody could fold at any time. You can never put too much trust in somebody. Kai and his girlfriend both work in the music industry. They both make music, but his girlfriend also does some modeling. We decided to use that to get her to this multi-million dollar home in Hollywood. All right. I'm not gonna lie. She's in the music industry. She does some modeling. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like if you're in those industries, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of ways you can just slip and fall down. And um, yeah, so I'm not too happy about that. Let's, let's keep watching. Hollywood Hills. Kira's going to be arriving here in about an hour. She thinks she's coming over for a photo shoot. But in reality, she is coming here so that Isaiah could test her loyalty. With Kai's help, we had our decoy Isaiah contact her earlier that week for a modeling gig. After learning all the details, she eventually agreed to show up. Do you think your girlfriend is gonna bust the Bobby Alta <laughs> and trade you for the money, riches, and fame? But you never know, you gotta have a little doubt in you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, what's up, Kira? This is Isaiah. Hi. Hey, I was just calling to see if you're on time for the modeling shoot. Of course, definitely. I'm on my way. I'm definitely going to be there. Traffic's cool. Nothing's going crazy on the road. So far, so good. Sounds good. I'm excited to meet you. Yeah, I'm excited to meet you. <laughs> All right, see you soon. So bye. <sighs> Got her in the bag. <laughs> wait, wait, pause. <laughs> We're supposed to be rooting for him. <laughs> <laughs> she sounded a little excited. Oh, no. That's what I was exactly about to say. She sounded a bit too excited. It's like, I'm excited to meet you. Like, it's not a red flag, but orange. I'm going to say it's orange, which is the color of his hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, she probably just excited she got the job going. That's all, true, you know. True. We are paying her a lot. Kira believes that she's getting paid $500 to come model for Isaiah's clothing line. Well, fake clothing line. In reality, we just got these shirts from Amazon. She doesn't know that though, and that's all that matters. We just needed to get her here so that Isaiah could ask her on a date. No. Not only does she have to turn down somebody who has money, she has to turn down a hurt dog, you know? <laughs> <laughs> As Kira models the shirts and when Isaiah makes his move, D will be upstairs watching and listening in thanks to our live feed and our fancy new controllable cameras. How cool is this? We're in control of all of these little cameras that, here. Yeah, we get all the angles on it. So with that, we- UDY is upgraded, man. UDY is upgraded now. He's got the zooming in stuff. I like that, I like that. We were now ready for phase one of our tests. All that was left to do was wait for Kira to arrive. There's a lot of waiting in these things. Would you mind explaining to the cameras why exactly you wanted to put your girl to the test? I just wanted to see, to be honest with you, like, all right, are you going to fold under pressure, somebody flashing money in front of your face? Like, it's kind of like, are you going to sell out, sell your soul kind of thing? So I feel it. I just want to see how she's going to do under pressure. I've come to notice a grim reality. Almost everyone nowadays is trying to get into the entertainment industry, and some people will do whatever they got to do to get ahead, even if that means cheating on their partner. It's sad, but that's what happens when you're surrounded by a culture of superficiality, materialism, and the relentless pursuit of wealth and fame. Hopefully, Kira can prove that Exactly. That's exactly right, bro. Like, people be disregarding their morals, disregarding their ethics and values just to get to the top. They'll push past everyone, everyone they love, everyone they care about, just to get themselves to the top. It's selfish. It's selfish. 
And that's why, you know, this guy's putting his girl up to the test and ultimately we will see what happens. She isn't like that though. Oh, he got the fireplace going. He uh, got he's, the little fireplace going. He set the mood right. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to see. Hello. He's getting a call. Just come up to the big door that looks like a puzzle. Come through the gate and then I'll meet you at the door. I think that's it. Okay. Go, man. These windows are tinted, but like, I don't know how tinted. And welcome to my humble abode. Hey, oh, Isaiah. Hi, Kira. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Your eyes are beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're good. And now I just wait here for my cue to come in. Feel free to set your stuff down anywhere. Yeah. Why is she complimenting the fireplace, bro? Why are you complimenting the fireplace? I don't like that. <laughs> Kira had arrived to Isaiah's supposed home. He capitalizes and shows it off a bit. My favorite part about the whole thing is this tree, though. During the spring, it sprouts its leaves. And then he shows her his clothing line, which consists of one basic, simple design. This is on purpose and will come in handy later. Okay. Okay, so what, why, why the fish? If a fish wanted to be a shark, who's telling it it can't actually be a shark? <laughs> yeah, my uh, whole brand is called Everlasting Please. Fantasy. Everlasting Fantasy. I know it's far-fetched, but I kind of want to have like a, a fashion runway in Paris. Like I'm trying to make it yeah. Big. If I have the money, might as well do it. Anything, yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> right now, it's just the t-shirts. Yeah, that's super cool. You want to go sit down? That's great. We got her here. That's like probably the hardest step right there. So where are you from? Sacramento. Before sending in Elias, we wanted to give Isaiah a chance to get to know Kira. The goal was to get comfortable with her and start flexing his money. Did you grow up here? Are you from up here? Or? No, I moved out here when I got the house. I'm originally from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Nice. I worked in a factory in Wisconsin, and uh, one of the machines malfunctioned, so. Yeah, I was trying to lift something up and then the whole thing came down on my leg. Wow. They put three screws in my ankle right here and now I gotta roll around with this little thing. But they ended up giving me eight million dollars. Wow. Yeah. End of the day, it's not that bad. I got money, I got a house. So this is your first place in California? Yeah. Wow. All right, let's see how she falls, if she falls, because he's throwing the money, he's rich. Eight million dollars from a law pretend lawsuit, obviously. And uh, this is where most girls, in their head, they're thinking like, damn, he's got money? Damn, he's got all this? And they start like calculating things, you know? They start comparing as well. So let's see, I'll, let's see what's going through her head. <laughs> it's a little lonely though, sometimes. Sometimes I wish I had someone to share it with, but <laughs> your eyes. Bro, what? But why she giggle like, bro, hold on, rewind that, rewind that. Lonely though, sometimes. Sometimes I wish I had someone to share it with, but. Bro, I'm done, man. She giggled. Did you hear that giggle, bro? Oh, man. It's already going downhill, man. I don't like that giggle. Because, like, that just shows you're kind of like... <laughs> like, he... Like, you don't... You don't want to show that, you know, when you have a man. You don't want to show that you're like, he, 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 and that. Do you know what I mean? But, ah, uh, I guess it's just a start. We still don't know what's going to happen. So, let's just keep our hopes up a bit. Your eyes, I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> they are. Yeah, I got my mom's eyes for sure. You mind if I sit down? It's the, this oh, little thing okay. is I mean, a little. Yeah, it's are you close to the parents? Actually, super close. Oh, oh. Isaiah takes a seat next to Kira and continues making small talk. The two were honestly hitting it off, but we had to keep things moving along. Alrighty, photographer, go ahead and make your entrance. I repeat, go ahead and make your entrance. Over. Finally, our time. Your nails are absolutely really nice as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just, Any of the rings mean anything? No, I have a lot of rings, and my hands just feel like naked if I don't have rings on. Like, if I ever forget to put yeah. them on, I'm just like. You can come in. My guy. So how's it going? It's going good. You know, I realized I knocked. I was like, wait, how is he going to get to the door? <laughs> Hello, Elias. This is Hi, nice, to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's, how's it going, going bro? bro? You doing good? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The best I can. Yeah. Ready to shoot or? Um, She had a question about wardrobe. Yeah. So I have these leggings. Um, I also brought Yeah, can I see what you have? Elias pretends to be a good photographer and chooses out what pants Kira should wear. Isaiah then hands her the shirt that she'll be modeling and directs her on where to change. How did I sound? <laughs> I did just look to you. Does it feel legit? Does it yeah, look legit? It look legit. It's like, like, a, like a real photo shoot going. Yeah. Uh, so this is the small. Um, Go ahead. Yeah. 
cool. Yeah, I think it looks good. What do you think? Ooh, you think? That, uh, no? I don't think that looks good at all. No? Yeah, I'm joking. You look beautiful. Oh. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> Wouldn't want you to change a bit. <laughs> I'll just be uh, rolling around in here. It was Kira, right? Kira. Kira, yeah. cool. Set up like, yeah, right there. Got the house in the background, you know? What'd you think it so far? I think it's cool. I know she, she taking his compliments, you know, mm -hmm. well. We ain't doing too much. Yeah. I'm all right with it. While the last took some pretty nice photos outside, I want to go make sure that our decoy wasn't in too much pain. So in case you guys are wondering, this right over here ah. is real. As you can see, he is in a ton of pain. Ah. Just kidding. Our decoy is pretending to have gotten hurt at work because this is how he got rich and he was able to afford this house. This is something I always wanted to do. And with the settlement money, I finally get to do it. Start my own clothing brand. You know, like sometimes I feel like a goldfish and I wish I could be a shark, you know? We were worried because the boot only fits up to a size 12, but Isaiah's got a size 15. Honestly, it feels kind of comfortable. Like, I would wear this just because. If you ever get seriously hurt or in an accident. Don't tell me it's gonna, it's gonna be an ad. It's gonna be an ad. This guy's gonna come in with the ad. I'm ready, I'm calling it right now. Your case could actually be worth millions. Unfortunately though, many people never file a claim or end up getting lowballed by insurance companies. Don't be one of those people, be like Isaiah. I got hurt and I said, run me my money, come on. <laughs> oh yeah, these are good. It wasn't an ad, what? I thought that was such a good segue into an ad. I hope you like these. If you ever get seriously hurt or in an accident, Morgan and Morgan oh, will fight is, to get their clients the money that they deserve. Their lawyers don't settle for a little off. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it was an ad. I got that intuition. Smart like that. Last year in Florida, they got a victim who was in a life-altering car crash, $12.2 million. The insurance offered the victim $350,000. They got another victim in New York, $6.8 million. The insurance offered the victim $275,000. You guys got the point. Their lawyers don't want to settle for anything less than what you're owed, and you shouldn't either. It only takes a few minutes to see if you have a case. You can submit a case and communicate with your legal team all through your smartphone. And oh yeah, your fee is absolutely free unless you win. That's right, no upfront costs. They only get paid if you get paid. You can start a claim with America's largest injury law firm by clicking the link in the description below. Visit www.forthepeople.com slash UD and start your claim today. You can check out Morgan & Morgan. But okay, time for me to get back upstairs and continue this test. You wanna see some of these? Oh yeah, wait, this is super cool. Oh my God. Yeah. You know what? I feel like we should have made Elias the decoy. She sounds really into him. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Photographers do think they slick, man. I mean, I love how this is stuff like yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely reach out to him. Yeah. No, I feel you, yeah. I think she just told him, oh my god, I love your hair. <laughs> One day we'll promote Elias to decoy, but for now he makes a great photographer. I mean that, the photos that this guy took actually came out really good. The only thing I will say though is why the hell did this man make her model in leggings? Not just any leggings though, I'm pretty sure these are the leggings that she literally walked in with. He didn't even make her change, they just gave her a shirt. I can only imagine what Kira was thinking. Like, damn, I brought other clothes and these guys make me wear what I came in? Luckily, she didn't get suspicious of anything and it all came off realistic, but still. Next time it lasts, try a little harder because you could cost us the freaking test. Oh, okay, I think it lasts is being the back guy. What's up, what's up? What's up? Dude, she's killing it, man. She's I can't it. Wait a minute. Yeah, you get the so. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't think that was possible. She looks more beautiful than when she came in. That's crazy. Oh, that's Bro, this is guy, man. Bro, that is kind of cringe game. I can't lie, guys. That is a bit cringe. This guy's being a bit cringe with his game, but we'll let it slide. <laughs> anyway. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That compliment was so smooth it even had Elias blushing. Let me just set up this light real quick, and then, uh, yeah, we'll shoot in here real quick. How long have you been modeling, by the way? So if she passes this test, do you plan on going downstairs and telling her that it was a test, or do you plan on not telling her at all? Honestly, is she being loyal and upfront and, and staying true? Then I, I should be true too. Okay. You know, so. Okay. Cool. All right. So I'm thinking maybe like I'll just get you on the couch. And so with that, Elias begins the second half of this photo shoot. And once again, he does an incredible job with the photos. Cool. Um, let's get you on that chair. This one, like, just imagine you're like a boss. You're just about to fire all your employees right now, and you don't give a. F what? Actually, she had those leggings outside, right? Yeah, you wanted to switch? You think it'd be crazy yeah, if we switched? Yeah, no, yeah, let's do it, yeah. Which one would you like to see? 
Isaiah wanted a different look, so he asked for an outfit change. Elias chose out another set of bottoms, which were also black. And Isaiah, for some reason, gave her a larger shirt. Damn, he gave her a men's large. It's about to be a dress on her. <laughs> Not much of a different look if you ask me, but that's okay. You see, this outfit change was simply a diversion. Yeah, I gotta go to my car. <laughs> Appreciate it. It was time for Elias to exit the scene. Under the guise that he ran out of space on his memory card and had to get one from his car. You did a good job, sir. Thank you, thank you. I told Dean that it really sounded like she was into you. So we were thinking about making you the decoy instead. I mean, I could have slid in. She wanna flirt. She better not have been flirting out here. <laughs> I mean, I could have glass for a number later if you really wanted oh, me to. Oh, relax, know. relax, relax. <laughs> I could schedule. This guy's violating uh, the guy right here in front of him, bro. Enjoy another photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. I'm going to be there, too, though. <laughs> right with you. <laughs> with Elias now out of the scene, this was it. As soon as Kira was out of the restroom, Isaiah was pretty much free to make his move. Hey, but why am I scared? Yeah, you look beautiful. Um, the <laughs> photographer, he left something in his car. Okay. Yeah, uh, he said he forgot like an SD card or something like that. We can just hang out until he gets back. Thank you. All right, here we go. Gotta listen in, okay? So you said you've been modeling for two years? Is modeling like what you like wanna like pursue for a long time career or is it just something you're doing right now? I would love to have this as a career for as long as Possible. Yeah. Love it, so. yeah. Right, good conversation. Just career talk about your job. That's all chilling, that, you know? Nothing wrong with that. That's calm. Well, I'm gonna do that, but... Have you. My bad, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I guess, I guess, like, at some point in time, I'd love to, like, have some kind of career where I can, like, help people. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm really, like, I'm a big animal person. That's amazing. Yeah. Not only is she beautiful, but she's for the people <laughs> and the animals. This is crazy. <laughs> But this guy's game's cracking me up, I can't lie. This guy's game. <laughs> animals, yeah. Animals. What's going with animals and people? Honestly, I'm just, I'm open to not knowing what I want my destiny to be. Yeah. I want to travel and I want to see what problems there are around and see what I can do. I grew up not having money. Yeah. And now that I have money, I feel like I can do something with it, you know? That's really cool. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. So have you worked with like any bigger brands that I would know, like Fashion Nova or Sheen or anything like that? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I did a few months ago. Oh, I, I work a lot with like, kind of like people like you who are like starting mm -hmm. a brand. And, like, 100%. Remember how I said there was a reason why Isaiah's clothing line designs were so simple? Well, that's because he needs someone else on his team who truly understands fashion, and he's going to be using that to make his move. You ever think about like doing stuff behind the scenes of modeling, like modeling, but like business side of it, or? Um, like, be, <laughs> like, what do you mean, like? Be, like, I don't mean? know, but like more hands-on, just because I'm doing it all by myself. I only have so much imagination, and I do want to expand. I want to get into women's clothing. I want to do more fashion, and I would, one, love to pick your brain, and two, you are absolutely gorgeous. So like, <laughs> if you were- What do you think, all right. Do you think she's gonna be loyal or not? Let's drop it in the comments right now. If you think she's gonna be loyal or not, I feel like it's getting close, bro. Man, let's hope for that guy's sake at the back that she stays true, man. All right. Were my the face of my brand, I feel like it would help a lot. If if you're down with yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's like that sounds like an incredible opportunity. Um, would it be like like primarily like modeling the clothing or? So it would be modeling clothing, but yeah. it would be past that as well. So like um, helping with the creative design of the clothing, speaking out for the clothing, maybe helping me with the social media, just to target more of the women audience. I mean, I want to be honest with you. Like I don't, like I've never really done like that side of things before. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, that would definitely be like a new like learning experience mm -hmm. for me too. I'm learning right now too. So we yeah, just learn together. If you want, we can talk more about it over dinner. Yeah, yeah that's that sounds incredible. I would, yeah, I'd love to. Is a uh, seven tonight work? Oh, um. Mm. Yeah, actually. I, no. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm free. Awesome. No. Okay. Yeah, tonight should be 
good. I'll probably be like hungry after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, bro. Are you serious? But and you know what's crazy? She hasn't brought her man's up once. She has not brought him up at all once. Bro, the fact that she's just willing to go like that, like that dinner, 7 p.m., bro. Just like that. But look at his face, bro. Just, just take a look at his face, and that's all you need to know, man. God damn. Kira has agreed to dinner, but I wouldn't call this the end of the road. Isaiah did. Fr bro, for me, I would be fuming, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Look, I would personally be fuming. Like, why? Like, a dinner? That's a bit intimate, guys. That does not slide with me. Phrases is more of a business opportunity, which does give us a path for a phase two. We can have them go to dinner, and then Isaiah could make his official move there. Of course, that's only if Kai wants to keep this going. We can get some food, we can talk about it, and then maybe after we can get some drinks, hang out, get to know each other a little more. What's your favorite drink? Um, <laughs> I like whiskey. Like oh, a whiskey like girl. Does me wrong. Yeah. Well, let's do a let's do a warm vibe. Let's do vibe. let's do we can go out, we can get some whiskey. Yeah. Um I know a really cool spot. Or we Bro, my man's face, bro. This guy's face, bro. Go out, we can get some whiskey. Yeah. Um I know He's stressing. He's stressing. A really cool spot. Or we can just come back, kick it here. I got connect four. Um, you know, just get to know each other a little bit. Um, I, or maybe I think we should just like, maybe just stick with the um, <gasps> dinner. Oh, okay. You don't like drink. Bit of a redemption there, bit of a redemption. Drinking. I just feel like, um, I guess I, I feel like getting drinks and like going out after that is just kind of a different vibe and what do you mean by that is, i mean it's like huh. i don't i don't know i feel like um it just it's it feels like the intention of that bro, here's the thing though he's like she still hasn't brought him up and that's why i'm like really not feeling her because she hasn't brought him up why isn't she bringing him up the man's up not once has she brought him up so that's really a red flag. She's still kind of just going like, eh, just bring him up and be like, I have a boyfriend. But she's not doing that, man. So I'm not. It's like more of like a hookup oh, versus wow. like a friendship, <laughs> business partner. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't see it like that. I feel like we can go out, we can have some drinks, we can have a little bit of fun, get to know each other, and we don't have to necessarily hook up because we're just doing it as friends, right? Yeah, I mean. Just to get to know each other. <laughs> Yeah, I just um like I I have a I I do have a boyfriend. Finally, took you long enough. God damn, that took us so long to say that, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I even though she's like kind of rejecting me, I feel like she has a lot of orange flags because it took her so long to bring up the fact that she has a man. And still going out to dinner and stuff, man. I, I wouldn't see this as a success, to be honest. And I think that he might be uncomfortable. Mm. What do you mean you think? Bro, what do you mean you think? Obviously he will be, bro. Mm. If I'm, like, going out and, like, getting drinks. There you go. She brought you up. That's me, you feel me? <laughs> Let's see if she continues to stick to it, though. I personally don't think that there's anything wrong with it. Okay. I think we can. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I think we could just. It's just a couple of drinks as but like friends. Imagine, as like, if you have a girlfriend, like if she went and did that. Yeah. You, know. you want to know the truth? It wouldn't really matter that much. <laughs> but that's just me. Uh, we yeah, can go out. You no, know, I just want to like respect. Okay. Like, yeah. Because I, I mean, I, you know, I like to keep things professional. Yeah. That's just like my. I just don't really see it as like a bad. Thing. Yeah, I think I'd just rather stick with like dinner. Okay. Oh, it was never a doubt. <laughs> I don't want to sound like a asshole. I'm trying my best not to. No, I, mean, I would love to like talk business with you. I mean, it sounds like an awesome opportunity, and you know, I'm I'm totally like open to like dinner or like mm -hmm. lunch or, or like grabbing a coffee. Just like I want to keep it like business. Yeah, I can respect that. Mm -hmm. He's a lucky guy. <laughs> She's staying true. 
And you were worried over here. You can you can never be too sure, man. You never know. What a twist. Kira could clearly sense that Isaiah was into her, and rather than putting up with it, she shut that down. She nipped it in the butt before placing herself in a questionable predicament. Anybody could take get their girl taken. Any given day. I don't care how cool you think you are. There's always gonna be somebody better, but it's a do you wanna stay true to who you yeah, who you exactly. rather Mindset is everything. <laughs> Now with that corny goldfish on there, <laughs> thinking it's a shark. Yeah, it's a big difference. It's like though. You know, you gotta feel like a shark sometimes. You can feel like it, but then you get in the real world. You're like, not no shark, man. Not even a dolphin. You know what I mean? Now I'm just gonna say it because I know some of you are thinking it. I feel like if Isaiah hadn't pushed it and just stuck to the dinner, we could have moved on to a phase two. For a second, I thought we had a phase two there, bro. Not that I wanted one. Hey, I'm, I'm just saying. He accepted the dinner. I was like, ah, he was kind of flirting. He accepted the dinner, but. See, that's the thing. I don't think these guys are realizing, like, she was going to accept the dinner. Like, I, look, like, okay, if it's strictly professional and business, go for a coffee. But I'm not too sure about a dinner. And she was, re she really left it till the last minute to say something about her, man. She left it all the way till the last minute, man. So, look, it may be a success in their eyes, but, like, if we're looking at a different point of view, guys, it was very, very iffy. Still a lot of orange flags around there. Um, so yeah. She was solid. She's solid. Yeah. Maybe the outcome would have been different with the dinner involved, but I'm willing to bet that Kira would have still brought up her boyfriend and established her boundaries. I asked you this earlier. Do you want to go downstairs and tell her this was the test? Or do you want to play this entire thing off as if it were real? Because the last can go back downstairs, continue the photo shoot. We will pay her for being here. Uh-huh. And that's that. I think I think we should go down there. I think we should go down there. She down there. she was true to me, like I said, so. Yeah. I gotta be true to her. Okay, cool. She can't stay mad at me for too long. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, here's the thing. When, okay, now he's gonna, like, reveal it's all, like, um, just a, you know, test. I, it can either go both ways, man. Like, they can get really, really upset over that, you know? So, hopefully for this guy's sake, it's all good. <laughs> Hey, what? what's up, love? What are, you, what are you doing? So look, I gotta come clean to you about something. Um, I set all this up. This was a loyalty test. I know it sounds crazy. Um, I had the guys help me here. Um, just wanted to see how you act if you were gonna fold under pressure. Like, you know what I'm saying? So they helped me out and set it up. But you passed the test, and I know it's I'm stupid. <laughs> So, so to kind of explain what he's saying, this entire thing is basically just a test, like none of it is real. So this home is actually a rental. Isaiah doesn't really live here. Isaiah's foot is actually not hurt. He's just pretending that it is. And the shirt you're wearing is not. See the amount of shock they get. The amount of shock and realization, man. I'd... For his clothing line, he actually doesn't have one. This so. wasn't even like a shoe? We're still gonna pay you for your time and for being here and all that stuff, so you'll still get paid for that, but the modeling shoot essentially was not real. We literally just made this entire scenario up just to see if you would go on a date with Isaiah or not. And you didn't, you turned them down, you said no. I had no doubts, but you know, I just had had to make sure, and I know you're probably like hot right now, but I'm like. Sure you really had like some doubts or something like that. It's Sometimes you just gotta see, you know what I'm saying? So I, when I'm at the studio, you be texting me, asking who are there and everything and stuff. That's the thing, like. Oh, like, uh, Look. Can we, like, talk about this, like, without. Yeah, dude, we could shut off the cameras and all that stuff. You guys can talk out front, you guys can talk out back. Like, you guys can literally, like, take your space, take your time, dude. We, we won't follow you guys or record right, you guys. Come on, let's, let's chat real quick. Uh -huh. Like, without the cameras, though. They, they, gonna... it's, it's cool. We... Okay. She pressed, man. She pressed, and it's, this is not good. Now it's gonna cause some arguments, bro. Now it's gonna cause some arguments. Look, I'm already knowing how you about to act. <laughs> chill, like. Chill, <laughs> can we write up something with a chill? I don't know if I should be looking or not. Should we give them the privacy? Do you like understand like how embarrassing this is? They don't even know you. These well, people don't know you. Our relationship is not their business. That's true. If it's you just, didn't trust me, you should have talked to me. I do trust you. Don't even do that. Don't do that. Don't start don't. that I don't trust you or nothing like that. I do trust you. Uh-huh. Look. Do you understand that like I came here thinking I was working a job? And you still getting paid for it. So what's the issue? I just had to see. That's I'm, it. I'm, I'm going. All right. <laughs> 
Mm. Oh, you don't have to change. You can feel free to keep the shirt. I don't think I want it, so. <laughs> She's a little hot right now. I'm gonna take her. She loves food. I'm gonna get her some sushi. She's gonna be cool later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't, don't stress it. Yo, thanks. I appreciate everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Sergio, out. thanks for it again. Know. Even though Kira got upset, I still think it was best for her to know it was a test. We're, we're, again, we're gonna still pay you for your time, all that stuff. Yeah. More than anything, I think the cameras overwhelmed her. But I agree with Kai. I think she'll eventually get over it. Yeah, they'll talk it over. She seems very uh, reasonable. I can see where she's coming from. I can see kind of where he's coming from, too, though. It's a double-edged sword. Sushi ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's crazy, man. I don't know. Maybe it's a dub. Maybe it's a L. In my opinion, there's a little iffy going on. Lots of like gray area they need to talk it out. So I guess hey, successful for him. She seems like someone who'll get over it as well. So anyway, um subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time.